Hello everyone, so uh, this is Anonymous Alligator back again. Uh, today we're going to be doing a day in the life of a poor soul who has to do Motorola programming. Alright, so let's begin. So as you can see, it's uh, very exciting, and I say it's well worth the reward. Um, especially whenever you have a R20 firmware, um, FPP enabled, XTS 2500. Because nothing is more exciting than manually setting 15 zones with 16 channels, all with different personalities, for a grand total of 250. Thanks Motorola. I really enjoy what you've done with the software. Please put it back to how it was back in the DOS days. That was pretty good. Or better yet, here's my suggestion. Be like Harris. Per channel. Yeah. You know, that Harris software breezy breeze to use. But then again, it's more expensive, so what What can I say? Yeah, Motorola hardware? Motorola hardware's pretty good. Now, software, on the other hand, yeah, if uh, any of you guys work for the uh, Motorola software department, please give me a call. And, yeah, you should probably quit. You, you guys are not doing well. APX, sure, it's a bit better, where now, you know, if I press the down key, it won't just go down to the next one, it'll actually scroll through the list. You know, thanks for finally letting us do that on the APX software. But still, I mean, come on, guys. What the hell is this? Alright, this is, you know, Astro 25 uh, Portable. Not drop-down box simulator, what is it, 2014? Please, please, if somebody out there can make third-party programming software, for the XTS radios. Do it. And make it better. Thank you. <laughs> 